Alright, so this was requested by the viewers, as in you guys, you know what I'm saying? So, say savage, stay savage, boys, you know, bitch, my hair is kind of mushy because I just took a shower. But, look, today we got an important topic that came from the comment section. Today we're going to be talking about Sasuke Uchiha, alright? We're going to be talking about Sasuke explaining his past to Sara Uchiha and basically letting her know that he killed his older brother. Now, there's a lot of factors that might play with this, and there's a lot of things they may turn out from this, you know what I'm saying? Because Sara is a just person, you know, she believes in doing the right thing. She want to be a person just like the Hokage, and then finding out about her father's dark past may lead to some interesting things so if you guys are excited about today's video make sure you hit that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for daily content if you guys have not already make sure you check out Toshino X Sakura shirts they're only available to March 29th you know they're limited time only honestly I'm gonna have a new shirt like every month trying to have like a different theme try to have like a different meme maybe a different context you know what I'm saying so we'll try to keep those rolling you know what I'm saying but if you want to cop this one this one is about to go it's about to be going you got like uh, what 10 days not even that I mean something like that it's close you know what I'm saying but with that being said let's get it all of these In all honesty, I'm really bad at track of time because I said 10 days when actually it might have been a little bit more. It might be 14 days. So you still have like two weeks. Anyways, but nonetheless, let's talk about Sara Uchiha. Let's talk about Sasuke. So, like I said early on in the video, like in the beginning, I'm talking about literally before the intro play. Like literally, we know that Sarada is a good person, right? We see Sarada looking up to Naruto, aka the seventh Hokage. She dreams about becoming the Hokage herself. Boruto even expressed to her, you know, I don't even want to be the Hokage. I don't want to be nothing like my dad. The fact that you can want to do that, you know, I'll assist you. I'll help you do that you know you take that lead and i'm gonna just kind of stay in the darkness you know so we kind of see the role swap and that's something we always spoke upon we spoke upon how like sorrow is more like naruto boruto is more like sasuke and that's what honestly we're gonna get you know we're gonna get that just and we're gonna get that like evil side you know the, the good kid that turns evil then the good girl that stays good you know what i'm saying but she comes from like the darkest past and the darkest path within the whole entire world because everybody's gonna be looking at her probably in the light of hey you're no chiha uchiha was known as such bad people you know the whole entire village got slow Slaughtered. you're basically one of the last surviving members your dad Sasuke you know he went on a rampage he became one of the s rank criminals one of the most notorious you know what I'm saying he even attacked the five Kage summit which was something that's very rare in the ninja world something that never really happens you know what I'm saying and he even went through with that you know so there's so many bad things behind Sasuke you know that Sarada doesn't know one of those things being the true truth about Itachi now don't get me wrong I do feel as though there's some books and there's some things in the story that basically hint to what happened to the Uchiha clan and you know people talk about how like the whole entire clan got slaughtered but i don't think there's no details because if you remember back in a few filler episodes ago you seen sarah going to the library and she was basically well not even filler episode this was actually a, a canon episode if i'm not mistaken she went to the library looking for a book about sasuke and she wanted to read about sasuke and she wanted to learn about his past but she saw that it was restricted the information regarding sasuke uchiha was restricted you know you couldn't even just go into his past you had to be of a certain rank like special jonin or something like that or you had to have approval from hokage you know her being a genin or maybe even being a tuning she won't be able to ask that information so she won't truly know anything about her father unless Sasuke directly tells her and like I said if you look at Sarada and you look at the way Sarada cares herself she cares herself just like Naruto in a sense but she also cares herself like Sasuke as well as Sakura and the reason why I say Naruto because if you guys think about it Sakura is essentially the girl Naruto you know she doesn't do anything in terms of like a whole lot of fights and shit like in the first half of Naruto uh, we don't really get too much from her until like Naruto goes crazy with the nine tails and then eventually you know he goes into like the sage mode and basically starts to fight against a uh, her and shit like that that's when we see the biggest moments from her but you know sarda she's a little bit more useful uh i'm just starting to say that because she's sakura she was useless in the first half like don't get me wrong what she's been doing is to contribute into boruto you know she's been doing decent but beforehand you know what i'm saying she she had very dull moments you know there wasn't nothing big and bright about Sa sakura you know what i'm saying she's kind of like ren to me like a lot of people like ren but ren was kind of bland she was kind of there for a brief moment you know she summons logs you know it, it, i mean she summoned that wood then you gotta think at some of these points you you know Sarada is still gonna be a teenager when this stuff starts to take place and all this stuff start happening and the fact that she's a teenager she's gonna be at that focal point that turning point where she's not gonna understand why Sasuke did it what he did or why Itachi did what he did you know what I'm saying because at the 
same token i feel as though like sasuke is still gonna have his secrets you know he still is not gonna be completely open with her because that's just the way sasuke is and even then i don't believe a lot of people know the truth about itachi i don't know why i don't know i don't think the whole entire village knows the true secrets about itachi except for konoha 11 or maybe like the closest members of konoha 11 which being sasuke which being naruto uh shikamaru because obviously he's the right hand to naruto he's basically the replacement for sasuke literally right now uh it's like those people those people will know but like for is like the outsiders and the other people in the village like peoples of the higher ups and stuff like that they don't really know because you know the higher ups that did know they got expelled and they got removed like the people that was in charge of this the people that had like hands in this were basically taken out of positions of power in the village they weren't kicked out of the village but you know a lot of those people aren't the same elders anymore they're not the same people that's running the village because as you guys know you know we saw the hokages check into the elders of the village a lot of the times and those were the people that you know train with the third hokage you know they grew up in the same squadrons and shit like that but if you look at like naruto you don't see naruto checking in with elders you don't see naruto talking to higher ups in the village the only higher ups you ever see him talk to is shikamaru you know you see him talk to lords of different lands but you don't see him talking to elders of the village so like there's not those people that have that information anymore the information is not something that you could just find willy-nilly across the village and as a kid like i said she's not gonna be able to understand that like that's what i feel as though she's not gonna be able to understand that but i do believe this is gonna be the focal turning point for her to start trying to go down a positive path her to try to redeem her clan because you know at one point we did think that sasuke will be the person that will redeem the uchiha clan we did think that sasuke will be the person that's going to take the uchiha clan into that positive light that positive direction after he avenged itachi or maybe he found out the truth and, you know he went against Madara. And, you know basically once he helped naruto with the wall we thought he was going to turn that new leaf but he also wanted to create a revolution get rid of the previous hokages because he felt as though you know they were bad they were doing bad things so we're going to see sarada start to take those pets but we're going to see sarada take it in a better lighting meaning she's going to try to sway the world to be positive and try to be good like all through like changing everything you know what i'm saying i mean she's gonna have some moments where she falls a little dark but i think her saving boruto is probably gonna be one of the most important focal points of her basically getting uh the village on her side and shit like that if she was to become hokage because a lot of people want her to become I'm hokage and honestly i would not be against seeing uh, like uh, uh ochiha as hokage because that's something we haven't seen you know what i'm saying that's something that we would like to see we know that we had sasuke talk about him wanting to be hokage and i guess that little bit of remnant of him saying he wanted to be hokage trickle down into his sperm sack was trickled down into sakura which trickled down into sarada being born and now that remnant is inside of sarada you know what i'm saying because that's who wants to be hokage so you know it's, it's one of those interesting moments where we finally got to uh see like sasuke's true emotions because you got to think about it when people make children that's their emotions those emotions that they felt at that time that's what happens that's what comes into manifestation you know what i'm saying so like that that's literally what would happen with sarada you know so sasuke and Sar uh, sakura's true emotions were manifested as a sarada and you know that's how he truly feels you know so maybe he will start to open up a little bit more and i think that's something that we're gonna see which is gonna be important because by him having a girl, it's a little bit different than Naruto with a boy. Obviously, Naruto has a girl too, but Naruto with Boruto, he could be a little bit harder. He could be a little more tougher with him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's a boy. With a girl, you have to be a little bit lean, and you know, so that's something we never seen Sasuke do. That's not something we see Sasuke do on a regular. And the fact that, you know, he has a girl, he has to be more lean, he has to be more open about his emotions because girls are a lot more sensitive than boys. That's just simple, plain in fact. Like, something that I might think is small, you know, a girl may think it's big, but I mean, obviously, there's those girls who think some things are small and that I might think big. And they don't care about it but you know that's per se you know uh it's one of those factors where we're gonna see sarada you know finally start to break sasuke's shell you know we're gonna see him tear down those walls you want to see him become that big old softy that we always wanted him to become for sakura but you know this is something that we're gonna see him become for his daughter which he has no abs absolutely no choice because regardless of how much you like the parent or how much you love the parent you know what i'm saying this this child is always gonna be your child you don't never have to talk to her mother again but you do have to talk to your child and if you don't then i mean obviously you're just scum so overall this was kind of a topic that i pulled out the comment section because you guys wanted me to talk about specific topics and you guys wanted to leave some suggestions for videos you know for the future because obviously not a lot of things are happening in boruto we've kind of talked about a lot of things that happen in boruto there's one more particular topic that we're going to be talking about coming up soon which i saw from the comment section as well you know so basically let me know how you feel about sarada and sasuke you know what you think her path and her future is going to be like what you think her development is going to be like how do you think she's going to get the mangekyo sharing out we did speak about this before but i do believe that this sasuke part will be like the 
traumatic experience for her or maybe she's going to lose boruto and that's something that's going to be traumatic for her. she's going to try to fight boruto to keep get him to stay kind of like naruto did with sasuke but at the same token i don't believe it's that i think she's going to find the true history about the uchiha and find out the true past and find out sasuke's true attentions back in the day and what he was really like and i think that's going to be something that's like dad why were you like this why did you try to hurt innocent people you know you're supposed to be a hero you're supposed to be one of the greatest ninjas of all time you know uh you're supposed to look up and strive to be like the hokage you're supposed to be a kind person dad like what the heck you know i feel like that may be like a focal point obviously this is all theory you know what i'm saying this is just my personal thoughts and my personal opinions about it if you have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions be sure to leave those in the comment section below like i said if you guys would like to get your shino x sakura shirt you know you got until march 29th which is in two weeks you know what i'm saying so with that being said my name is shino Ventro. stay true and stay real hope you guys have a blessed day also don't forget to leave a video like if you enjoy and like i said if you have video suggestions leave those in the comment section like for real like that ass like oh and we got more songs coming up soon so be on the lookout for that now with that being said i'm out of here Bye.